So about 50 million years ago, Scotland formed along the South Pole and was part of a continent called Laurentia, which formed the ancient geological core of the North American continent. And over time, Scotland moved northwards and it crossed the equator, ending up in the Northern Hemisphere, where it is today after it broke off from North America nearly 60 million years ago. The Mid-Atlantic Ridge, which is indicated by this black line here, is a divergent boundary created by the Eurasian Plate and the North American Plate, and it's always forming new rocks along the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean, which is causing Scotland and North America to gradually drift further apart from one another over time. Once uninhabitable, Scotland was covered with large glaciers and ice caps nearly 10,000 years ago. But Scotland also went through a period of extreme heat, making the land desert-like. The hot climate produced rocks off of the east coast that were once sand dunes when Scotland was located just above the equator. Dinosaurs once inhabited Scotland and scientists have found fossilized bones that confirm their existence and at least seven different species have been traced back to Scotland. 